I'm John Gubernat, Product Manager for, at Dell EMC for the C-Series platforms, and I'm here to introduce the new C6525. One of the great things about this platform is that it introduces AMD's second generation EPIC processors. These processors have increased core counts over their predecessor. They also enable higher bandwidth memory. This also enables a larger footprint of memory on C-Series. And we also have a wonderful feature where we're using the chassis for the current C-Series platforms with this, allowing these to be interchangeable. One of the unique features about this platform that I want to talk about is that we are enabling a rich one socket configuration. This allows a lot of flexibility for our customers, whether they are simply looking to replace existing architecture and converting down to a single processor due to the increased core counts, increased lane counts, or whether they're simply looking for a single socket solution in a dense platform regardless. This allows for better thermals in their platforms. It allows for a lower TCO overall, less hardware to populate, less cooling to have to contend with, less power to have to consume. We're seeing some great performance gains on this platform. For instance, with a single node, we're able to compare this against a Naples platform in a two socket rack configuration. In workloads such as HPL, we're seeing over 200% increase in gigaflops. In workloads such as LS Dyna, Fluent, and Wharf, we're seeing better than 50% increase in performance. Liquid cooling is another one of the technologies that we have included on this platform. Liquid cooling is a great solution for AMD. As processors increase higher and higher into the TDP ranges, liquid cooling pulls about 70% of the heat directly out of the server just through the processors. Now this allows you to stack additional compute in, in a rack allows you to go more dense. It also allows you to lower your overall TCO. So this allows our customers to save costs through using warm water, as chilled water isn't required and is actually less efficient than using warm water. It also allows our customers to save through power savings and cooling savings in their data center. One of the best benefits of liquid cooling solutions is that it fully enables the CPU stack for any CPU. Additionally, it allows you to increase the thermal efficiency of your data center. You're able to run the CPUs harder. You're also able to increase the temperatures of your data center. Your ambient temps do not need to be nearly as cold with a liquid cooling solution as with an air-cooled solution. So we decided to design this platform specifically, not just with Rome in mind, but the follow-on in mind as well. So what we decided to do was design a platform for all of the features that it enables. So this allows us to use the entire stack for Rome. A drop-in can't do that, it's limited to how many processors it can use. Additionally, we get to reap the benefits of faster memory speeds. Instead of being limited to 2666, we can use full 3200 MTS. It also allows us to take full advantage of the XGMI2 architecture that's built into these processors. Infinity Fabric has moved from 10 gigatransfers up to 16. We see this as phenomenal communication between the processors where some previous Naples platforms may have lagged. So while C-Series previously was predominantly HPC focused, this platform allows us significantly more flexibility. We can tackle everything from a complex HPC workload to a single socket preferred workload. We've designed this product for the future and we can't wait to see where it brings us.